G'day. I'm Ash. I hope you're all doing fantastically well. I am a little bit crook today, and uh, this is the only chance that I'll get to upload a video today. Regardless, in the next couple of days, I'm going to be pretty busy. Uh, we have, uh, obviously, we don't have a tank anymore, and we need to, obviously, fill the workshop, because the horse won't get any... What's the point of having a workshop when you don't have something to work on? Now, there's nothing in interesting going on in the paint room. I have no idea why I opened those doors, but I did anyway. Because we have no tank, we've got one mail. Uh, let's go have a look at the... Actually, let's have a look at the upright panel. Oh, great. We don't have any available um, reputation, so it doesn't necessarily matter. All right, let's go to the computer. We've got one mail, okay? Hello there. I have a Panzer Kampfwagen Tiger Alphs H1. It needs some renovation to be in perfect condition. Well, we're not going to accept that one. Because... Uh, we, we've already restored a tiger to perfect condition. So we're going to decline that one. Because it's not necessarily that important. However, Mark, tank extraction opportunity. And, uh, we have run into information there is a tank ready to be extracted. Are you interested? Exactly. Booyah. Alright, hang on. We need to go back into the organizer. And uh, we need to start extraction. I'm going to select the off-road vehicle. And hopefully, we can uh, have a bit of a play around. Alrighty, find a tank. Use the metal detector magnometer or a drone if they're unlocked. Mark the place by putting a marker on the map. Okay, welcome. Well, we don't have access to the off-road vehicle anymore. We've got a quad bike. Uh, I have no idea what's going on there. Regardless, we've got a metal detector. Uh, we've got a tablet and we've got a shovel. So let's hop on the quad bike here. Alright, uh, show controls, give me a second. So we need to start the vehicle, uh, which is that one. Run, 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 run. Toggle the camera. Which is a bit weird. Seeing a, uh, seeing a vehicle drive by itself. But hey, that's just what happens. Alright, let's go back into this camera mode. Now, there is something nearby which we're going to have to excavate. Somewhere in these fields, there's something we'll have to have a look at. Alright, laptop. Uh, the area of select is not suitable for the excavation process. Okay. So somewhere in here. So let's go park. What we're going to do is we're going to park over across on this road here. So let's go do that. Brum, 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 brum. I tell you, it feels weird driving a vehicle in this game. Like, absurdly weird. Right, let's see. Just reverse it up a bit. Okay. Just turn the engine off. Can I get out of the vehicle, please? Toggle lights, why not? Turn off the radio. What else have we got? Doesn't necessarily matter. Okay, let's take out the metal detector. Boing. Okay. Where's that tablet? So we know roughly where it is. It's somewhere in here. Hey! Right here. We'll put a little flag there. Beautiful. Do stuff, okay. That one. Excavation. Yes. Okay. Whoop! You have found something. Yes, I have. Okay, we've got a truck. Got some metal. We've got cranes, we've got digging stuff, there's a, there's a site around our particular build area. What do we got? We've got a KV-1! Now that's something that we can be excited for. Alright. Um, how do we get this thing out? Just a random generator down there. That's a large area to dig out. Absolutely humongous area to dig out. Now how do we get this thing out? Use a pressure washer. I don't... Where is the pressure washer? Is there a set of tools? 
This is getting a little bit uh, night time. Okay. Press pressure washer. Right. Pressure washer allows the player to clean the tank of mud from dirt. This is required to put the tank on the back of the uh, trailer for extraction mission. Okay. Right, we can do that. Looks like we'll be restoring a KV-1, boys. No. I don't, I don't know much about uh, the KV-1, aside from its, you know, absurd uh, service record during the Second World War. Soviets really preferred their more medium uh, vehicles, but as an interim stopgap vehicle, they kind of like this one. Right. Let's get up over here, clean the fuel tanks off. Clean it all off. Oh, this is one rusty motherfucker. Alright, now how am I supposed to get the rest out? Am I supposed to dig around the vehicle? Can I get my shovel out? I reckon I'm going to have to get my shovel out. Right. Let's go find my quad bike. Won't be too long. Uh, drop this one. Pick up the shovel. I need that in a second. I'm gonna dig around the uh, the tank itself. I can't believe that cost us two grand to to, to dig up a hole in the middle of nowhere. All right, click to dig. No, is it not, is it not letting me dig? How, how the hell dare you not let me dig around this area? Like, how the hell am I going to get this completely off? And completely clean. You're, n you're never going to get it completely clean. Alright, fuck it. The tank is already clean. Yeah, okay, well then, load the tank onto the work, onto the truck. I have no idea what just prevailed, but uh, the tank is now sitting on the very back of the truck here. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that that truck wouldn't necessarily be able to pull that, that tank. You might need something a little bit bigger. Regardless, we're going to continue on. So it looks, it looks in pretty good nick, considering. Let's see if we can clean the rest of the vehicle, because I don't necessarily want to do that when we're back at the workshop. So let's see. Uh, reset tools. Let's just go up to it and just give it a big old wash. Alright, everything needs to be cleaned. Let's see if we can get on the back here. that off, wash that off. Very just simple suspension system. We'll get to tearing this down in, in, in the next one. I reckon we'll start, uh, go back to, go back to the, the workshop and sort of decide what we're going to do with this one. So man, I do want to restore the KV, that, that sounds like absolute fun. Right. Now, I can't get some of these other bits and pieces, so we're going to have to just sort of we have to do those when we when we take apart the vehicle. But let's get get rid of this one, and let's uh, let's go back to the uh, workshop. Okay, well, welcome back to the workshop, and we now have a KV one that we can actually play around with. I don't know what state this KV-1 is in, but let's go have a look at the uh, analysis and then we'll sort of take it bit by bit as we can. So, uh, tank analysis, there it is. 
tank overall assembly. It's 100% uh, com completion. So uh, that's interesting because that means there's no missing parts, which is also, which is all right. Which means that every single part here is either you know extremely everything is extremely damaged. Tank overall repairs 13%. That's not exactly a good number. Tank value is 4,000 as it sits. So I could just sell the tank and then and then go on. What would it cost me to buy missing parts? Nothing. All right. So we've got an option. We can either tear out uh, everything and sort of start tearing it down, or we can, uh, you know, start the de-rusting process. And uh, I think that we might just go on a bit of an explore first. There is a lot to do, and obviously we've got to restore a KV-1, so that's going to be next on our agenda. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video, lads. Uh, we're going to get straight to restoring in the next episode. Hopefully it will be a little bit longer, but I have uh, limited time, so we're going to have to end this one here. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ash, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.